Hello everyone, this is R.S. Miller at the endtimenews.org and today is September 29th, 2012. In August of this year, during a White House press briefing, President Obama on the issue of Syrian chemical weapons stated, A red line for us is we start seeing a whole bunch of chemical weapons moving around or being utilized. I have, uh, at this point, not ordered military uh, engagement in the situation, but the point that you made about uh, chemical and biological weapons is critical. Uh, that's an issue that doesn't just concern Syria, it concerns our close allies in the region, including Israel. Uh, it concerns us. Uh, we cannot have a situation where chemical or biological weapons are falling into the hands of the wrong people. Uh, we have been very clear to the Assad regime, but also to other players on the ground that a red line for us is we start seeing a whole bunch of chemical weapons moving around or being utilized. Uh, that would change my calculus. That would change my equation. What I'm saying is we're monitoring that situation very carefully. We have put together a range of contingency plans. Uh, we have communicated in no uncertain terms with every player in the region that that's a red line for us and that there would be enormous consequences if we start seeing movement on the chemical weapons. Well, aside from the fact that President Bashar al-Assad has already deployed missiles armed with chemical warheads to the borders with some of his neighbors, U.S. Secretary of Defense Leon Panetta reluctantly admitted that there has indeed been more movement of Syria's chemical weapons. First and foremost, uh, as, I've, as I've expressed, uh, obviously we, uh, we continue to have a concern about the uh, security of the uh, CBW sites. And um, we, we continue to uh, monitor that. Uh, we're, we're working with, uh, with the countries in the region to uh, ensure that, uh, uh, that we have the best information possible with regards to uh, the sites and, and how they're being secured. Um, at, uh, at this stage, with regards to you know, the, the major sites that we're looking at, uh, uh, we do believe that uh, those sites still remain uh, secured by, uh, by the Syrian uh, military. Uh, there uh, has been uh, intelligence that uh, there have been some moves that have taken place. Uh, where exactly uh, that's taken place, uh, we don't know. Uh, I don't have any specific information about uh, the opposition and whether or not uh, they've obtained some of this or how much they've obtained uh, and uh, just exactly what's taking place. But with regards to, you know, uh, the, the movement of, the, of, of some of this and uh, whether or not uh, they've been able to uh, locate some of it, we just don't know. Uh, the main point I would make, though, is that uh, we still believe that uh, based on what we know and what we're monitoring, that the principal sites that we are concerned about still remain secure. I'm sorry, sir, can I just ask you to clarify, you have for the first time, I think, are saying moves, multiple moves of chemical weapons. We knew of one incident yeah. many, many weeks ago. Can yeah. you elaborate, uh, are, and you, you're not talking about the main sites, so no. are you seeing things move? Just, just tell we, us what you mean. What, what, what we mean is that uh, there has been some intelligence that uh, that uh, with regards to some of these sites, uh, that there has been some movement in order to ha for the, for the Syrians to better secure uh, what they the chemicals. Uh, and so, uh, while there's been some limited movement, uh, again the major sites uh, still remain in place, uh, still remain secure. Uh, but as to uh, you know uh, the movement of some of these uh, uh, these materials, and uh, what uh, you know whether or not they've been exposed to, uh, uh, to possession by, by the opposition or others, uh, that's, a, that's something we, I, I really don't have any firm information to uh, confirm that that's taken place. During the briefing, Mr. Panetta said that the main chemical weapon sites intelligence sources have been monitoring are still secure. But as far as other sites go, and who may have gotten their hands on these weapons of mass destruction, he said, 
we don't know. In other words, an undeclared percentage of Assad's chemical weapons have simply disappeared. For all we know, they could have fallen into terrorist hands and even been moved out of the country, possibly to Europe, Israel, or the U.S. But in any case, this war is still continuing and the danger of chemical weapons being used by Syria or some terrorist group grow more likely with each passing day. Friends, President Obama's red lines seem to have more bark than bite. Unfortunately, those would-be destroyers of Israel and America are encouraged by this lack of resolution and will continue to cross these virtual red lines until there's no other choice but an all-out war. It's not too hard to imagine a scenario where some hate-filled group unleashes chemical or biological devastation on a part of the civilian population of Israel. The amount of death and destruction caused by these weapons of mass destruction would likely prompt Israel to respond by launching a nuclear missile on Damascus, thereby fulfilling the Isaiah 17 prophecy, the burden of Damascus. Behold, Damascus will cease from being a city and it will be a ruinous heap. Are you saved? Follow the link below and pray the prayer of salvation with a sincere heart and you will be saved. It is my prayer that God bless each and every one of you with ears to hear, eyes to see, and a heart to receive. In Jesus' name, amen.